everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. You guys, today we are doing a renovation video like no other on my channel. Usually we decorate or redecorate or renovate a house. Well, today we're renovating a shed. I never thought I would be saying that, but honestly, I love this idea. So what inspired me to get this video in the works was I recently got TikTok. I guess when I'm posting this video, I've probably had it for a hot minute, but speaking from the past, and now it is the future for me, but it is the present for you, I have been watching this person decorate her shed. Probably over now when you're watching us, this whole like past, present, future thing is confusing me, so I'm just gonna stop talking about it. But basically, she took her old shed in the back of her like yard, I think she was on like farmland or something, so it was just like this little shed. She cleared it out, and then she changed everything up, she painted it, I haven't seen her decorate it, but I imagine it's going to be great. So, I have yet to see it. I'm probably gonna stop watching it because I don't want to copy it. <laughs> and now I'm going to do something very similar, but with my own little spin on it. Now you guys know I absolutely love making bedrooms. Any extra room, I'll turn it into a guest bedroom. I can't stop. Every time I see an open space, I picture a guest bedroom in it. So, what are we gonna be doing with the shed? We're going to be finding a shed, taking it apart, putting it back together on some new land where I can work on it, designing it, painting it, hopefully building a deck, furnishing it, hopefully like when my grandparents come, when Tate comes, when Eli or anybody comes over and they need somewhere to sleep, they'll sleep in there. No, they will probably not be able to sleep in it in the winter time because it will get freezing, but I'm hoping to add a little cat door and all the neighborhood cats can come and sleep in there. That's my goal. I think the transformation of the TikTok shed, I'm pretty sure it was turning it into like a hangout, but I'm turning mine into a guest bedroom because who doesn't need more bedrooms for guests that I probably don't have? But I'm so excited for this, you guys. Like honestly, the hunt for a shed has been quite strenuous. I was surprised to figure out how many sheds there actually weren't. And also I don't have like big chunks of land with sheds hiding in the tree so I will have to purchase one. I feel like a shed is very underrated, but I feel like it can be turned into a lot of things. It's a structure, and if it's warm where you live for some months of the year, it can definitely be turned into something that you can use. If you're not already using it for storage, that is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like seeing me turn like unconventional items into house rooms or like cool rooms or whatever, whatever. Um, let me know down below and I will try to do more like this. Okay, but before I ramble on too much, let's get into the video. I think we're gonna be flipping to a little bit of vlog footage with the shed. Hopefully we find one soon. So let's get into it. Why is my face so white? Okay. <laughs> Look how white I am. What's going on? Look at me, I'm like a ghost. What the going on? Go back. Okay. It's a little better. All right, you guys, so you guys just heard the intro what we're doing today. We had a big idea. Well, we didn't have, I saw it. You guys already saw. I won't repeat myself. Also, my dad is here today. Yes, he is. My dad is gonna be helping me with a big part of this project. First thing being, he found us a shed. He is the Kijiji master, and he actually bought, bought it for how much then? <sighs> Slightly less than a dollar free. He found a shed for free. So we're going to look at it today. I'm going to take some pictures because I'm wanting to order the stuff for decorating it. So we're going to take some pictures and see how we can take it together because we got to like transport it. So hopefully no one gets hurt today. Let's take a look. We'll show you guys what it looks like. It's a pretty big shed. It's like eight feet by 11. 12. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah, it's big. And it's high too. It's got a real steep peak yeah, on it. Might need a chandelier. Let's go take a or look. Or two. Or two. Or three. Let's take a look. And the weather's looking up. This is a perfect day. Isn't that great? It's great. I love this weather. It's like the best, like sweater weather. There she is. Let's see the inside of this beauty. You ready, Freddy? Ready. Woo, 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 woo. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. Like this was free, are you serious? I know, right? Okay, definitely not high enough for a loft though. I was overthinking. I was thinking like a loft with like a bed up. Like you could though. Pretty nice though, right? Like I'm looking forward to it. I was looking at design ideas on Pinterest and there was one with a little loft. 
but I kind of feel like for the sake of like being able to move around because we're thinking this might be like an extra little guest house for people to sleep when they come over or maybe us just for fun so I feel like a loft is maybe not a good idea especially if like grandma and grandpa are ever gonna come and sleep in it like they can't get up a loft that would be funny though oh no Hornets live here. Could you put wallpaper on this? You did wallpaper and then painted these like beams. Be cool. Right? I don't know if wallpaper would stick, but I mean it might. These are all screws. I mean, I can. These are all fine to come out. Is the roof gonna come crashing down on us? <laughs> Super, 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 stupid excited for it. Yeah, me too. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Hey guys, so I actually slept in today. My dad's already over getting the shed, so I'm just gonna drive over and help him. He's got quite a few friends over there helping him take apart the shed, put it on a trailer, drive it out, reassemble it. So I'm gonna try and get some video of that. I actually was supposed to be like, there like 30 minutes ago and I started watching Botched on YouTube and it's been a thing. So anyway, I need to get over there, so let's go. All right, so the shed is quite a ways away, so just gotta make sure I don't hit anybody. It's like the first day, well actually yesterday I guess was a really nice day too, but like the weather is looking up for us Canadians. Got a red light. I came, all the action's over. Whoops. All right, you guys, just as I suspected, I missed the loading up portion, so I have to race so that I can be there for the unloading process. So I gotta drive again, so just give me a minute. Guys, we're uh, gonna check, do a little time lapse of the shed being built. Seems like everything's going well. It's a little bit bigger of a job than we were anticipating. <laughs> Whoa. It was really heavy with the shingles, so it kind of had to be taken apart, so we'll see. All right, we're gonna see a little bit of time lapse here. our what we thought would be a four hour day that turned into an 11 hour day it is here the shed is officially on the property we wanted it on so and you know what i think it looks really good i've been sizing it up to see what size bed can fit in here what we should be doing with the walls the back wall the roof so i think now that we have it literally the renovations will now begin <laughs> All right, you guys, so I placed a huge order today for paint. Oh my goodness, I definitely overbought paint, but that's okay because having extra paint has never hurt me. Okay, this was kind of difficult because I had to do this over the phone because right now there's a lot of the COVID, everything is still closed. Basically, curbside pickup was open, so I didn't get to go in and look at any swatches, but I have a favorite color. Now it is called, let me tell you guys, cause you guys have asked me before, Raptors Light, and it's basically the brightest white on an orange chip card. So when it's like orange card, the whitest one, that's this. So it's a very, very warm white. I absolutely love it. Now I faltered on the side of getting a lot of this paint because if you've ever painted chipboard before, you probably know it soaks up everything. I also got some better rollers that were really, really fluffy to hold in all of the paint. That's not really necessary, but I think that it makes the job go by a lot quicker. I also went ahead and picked up primer. This is wood primer because we're going to be painting on wood, obviously. Okay, so the three walls are white and then I made an order on Lowe's today and it is like this wall board that basically looks like um, shiplap. And now I was watching a bunch of tutorials on how to do shiplap and it all looked really fun, but I don't really have a ton of time for it and wall board actually was like less expensive. So we'll see how it goes. It's actually supposed to be siding, but we're gonna be putting it inside. So that should be interesting. And then this is a standard white paint. This is for the outside trim and then this is the shade Gargoyle and it is this really really dark brown almost black and it is for the outside, the basic, the bulk of it. This is for the trim so it's going to really really pop. So yeah, this is all the paint that we need. Um, we're probably going to go out, start sanding, start painting within the next couple of days. So I will touch back with you guys 
and then I bought way too much paint. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I just got out to the shed and I'll just put in a little bit of vlog footage right now. My dad was kind enough to do the first coat of the primer. It still needs one more just because I'm a little bit worried, like they call it chipboard for a reason and I just don't want it to chip so I want the primer to be really, really thick. Here's what it's looking like right now. So already it looks a lot better than it did with just the wooden color. So I'm super happy with it. The inside's actually completely good I don't think it needs another coat of the primer but like see how it's like more opaque and then the outside one also I look busted right now what else is new and then here's what the outside one looks like so you can still see through it I don't want that I want it to be really opaque so that you can't like go like like peel pieces off like it's all stuck in there so off camera I'm just gonna quickly finish all of the primer and then my mom and dad are gonna come out and they're going to help me with the actual painting of it now have not even told you guys, wait, I did tell you guys a bit of the color. Inside in here, it kind of is gonna look very similar because we are going to be painting it white. One, two, three walls are going to be white and then this back wall is going to be this wood board. So this is actually like siding for a house, but it looks so much like shiplap to me. So I decided to get it and this is my first time ever working with this material, so I don't know how it will go, but these ones we're going to cut for up in the rafter right here. And also we're gonna use bigger pieces for this whole back wall. So it's gonna look like the whole back, including the peak, is a shiplap wall. So we will get that on camera, but that's gonna be done after the painting. And pretty much the only other paint color that's going to be in here is the beams that are primed white are actually going to be like a really dark brown that is going to match the outside. All of the detail and like the panels are going to be like a very, very, very like bright white. And then this is going to be the gargoyle brown is it too windy? Can you hear the wind? And then we're going to spray the hardware on the door black. So that's the color story for the whole shed. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I thought it up and I think it's going to be good. I'm pretty excited for the dark beams and the light walls. And then I did already order a carpet for in here, just like a beige carpet. So I think I better do the primer and then I will touch back with you guys when we are actually doing some of the real painting, not the priming. Just finished the primer. My dad's now out. My mom is mommy. Hello, mommy. We want to put a little deck on the front of it. So we're trying to figure out the sizing of it. Okay, so the primer is completely dry. Now I'm going to show you guys the color that we chose. Let's try it. All right, let's see what it looks like. Oh my gosh, what a difference it makes. I feel like the primer definitely helps us be a lot more opaque and it kind of disguises, the dark color disguises the chipboard better than the white does. And then also in here, we've got Mama Maples working. She's painting all the beams brown. Same brown as it is outside. I feel like it's gonna really pop once we have the wall board up. So that's a big job, your neck is gonna hurt. <laughs> Okay, we just figured out where the window will be placed. Right here, it's a pretty big window, so we'll see how this works. My dad knows how to put in a window, we're thinking. Nice. Window installation. Take one. I just gotta figure out how to attach it. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we are here. A lot has happened since you saw us last. Today, we're going to be taking on the inside. Already, we have one panel put up, and my dad and I were just cutting them. But here's the one panel, so what it's gonna be is the panels all the way on the roof, and then panels on the back wall, and then we have to paint these. This is just primer, so this is going to be white. So hopefully, since we primed it, it won't take very long, but that's the plan today. A lot better weather today, so it'll be nice. The window is in completely, and the outside is looking so good. Here's what it looks like. We were able to get it done, so we did some trim around the window. Inside here is my dad. He's gonna be helping me a lot today. We have a new little dog that I'll show you guys a little bit later, but that's why I have a cut on my eye, because he got me. <laughs> but okay, so we're gonna get to bolting those up there now that they're all sized up, so let's do that. Let's do it. Ah! 
to be. start putting the first coat on over the primer. Just finished the last roll of the second coat, but now we're putting in the back wall. It's a snug fit. Here. You guys saw all the painting and everything. I don't know if you ended up seeing the like finished wall That was more work than I had anticipated <laughs> So I'm here only for a little bit So what I was thinking I want to do is I want to hang the wall sconces back here Back here like this on either side of the bed, but that is not made yet And then also I have a rug to put down and it's actually like the full surface area of the floor so I want to cut it around the baseboards so I think well not the baseboards just around the two by fours so I think it will take a lot longer than laying just like throw out a carpet I think it will take a lot longer to like size it up so I'm gonna do that right now I'm gonna get my dad's help and possibly my mom's help as always so let me go and grab that Super windy out, so you guys probably can't hear, but here's the rug. It's eight by 12, I think, which is about what the shed is. It's actually Yay! nice to have a mat just to go on. Yay! Yay! This is a really nice rug. Yay! This is nice. OMG, the loudest truck is driving by, but we've got the wall sconces on. <laughs> like what? Are we living on a construction site out here? <sighs> okay, so we've got the wall sconces on. You can still hear the construction in the background, but they're not stopping clearly. So I'm gonna plug these in and see what the lights look like. Also, like these cords will be under the nightstands, which are pretty tall, so I'll pin them back when we get the nightstands in. This will be the thumbnail. This is really tedious work, you guys. <laughs> Hold it, mom! All 
All right, you guys, here is the carpet all put in. I love the way it looks. We stapled all the corners. It took a while. It's a little bit of tedious work, but now that it's in here, I feel like it all goes together a lot more. Like, we definitely have a really nice base for all of the furniture we have to put in here. So now I'm just going to screw on the deck boards out here and then that's probably gonna be it for today but then the next time I'm here it's gonna be furniture and that's the most exciting part. This is all just the preliminary work getting ready for the furniture and we went for like a nautical theme so it's gonna be pretty exciting. So let's get the deck boards on so that we can rush to the next day. Wow! We're back and it's furniture time. It's super bright out. It was actually cold earlier, so I put a heater in here and now I'm worried that it's gonna be like smoking hot. Okay, there's lots of furniture to be made, so let's get started. I'm gonna turn this heater off because oh my gosh, we don't need it anymore. All right, first thing we're gonna build is gonna be the bed. I'm very curious to see, it's a double bed. And you know, the size of this thing is a little deceiving because of these two by fours on the side. So we'll see how good this is gonna fit after we build it. That's my mom right there. <laughs> She's gonna be helping me as always. She hasn't been in a video for like four videos and everyone's freaking out. Oh. <laughs> She's still here. <laughs> I was a bit worried that the headboard would match the wood on the wall, but clearly that's not an issue. There's the bed, it looks cute. And I think there's just enough room for the nightstands here. I'm a little bit nervous, because yeah. this is a little bit small. But I did order skinny ones, but I think they were like 15. Ooh, I don't know you guys, we'll bring them in and we'll see. Wish us luck for our nightstands. A box in a box. The moment of truth, you guys. We'll see if these fit the skinny nightstands. Just fits. Look at that. Literally perfectly. I guess I should get all the way. And then this will pin down like that so that the light switch is really easily accessible. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, that is adorable! It is adorable. Can't believe how much I'm obsessing over a nightstand, but like, oh my god. We love it. Not one, but two now. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> now we can sit like this. <laughs> Lots of building today, you guys, but look at what we got done. The bench, the bed, the nightstands, which we didn't have to build. But I think we're gonna hang the curtain rod and then we'll probably be done for today. All right, one panel, here it is. Last thing we're gonna be doing is just hanging. I can't even believe I'm in a shed right now, by the way, like this is redonkulous. Um, yeah, but <laughs> so there's two pictures to choose from. I have this one which actually matches the bedding a little bit. I wanted to do a nautical theme, I don't know why. I've just been like really liking nautical themes. So we've got a sailboat, and yeah, you guessed it, another sailboat, but it's smaller. Now, I'm pretty sure I know which one I want, but you guys can take a look. So there's this one, which is cute, it's a little bit smaller, it doesn't match the bedding as well. And then we've got this one which is bigger, which I tend to like it a little bit more. So I think we're gonna hang this one. What is that noise? What? <laughs> yeah, there, no more honey, cause it, it's back it up a little. <laughs> Second, which will be in like a week for us. Dad, check it out. Most amazing. Yeah! Okay guys, so today is officially the final day of working on the shed. It's gonna be done today. I just brought the mattress in and now I'm just going to make up the bed. And that's basically gonna be everything. Oh my goodness. There are so many mosquitoes getting in here. Like seriously, I'm gonna have to change up the doors. We need like a screen door or something because they're getting in the cracks. They have worked their way in. They are smarter than we had intended. 
Oh my. Hey, I'm surprised he could get up here. He just hopped right up there. And then here is the bedding. I remember I told you guys that it matched the picture. As you can see, it's nautical. Tip a dip. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's been a long time coming. I honestly thought this might never get done, but finally, I'm excited to show you guys the finished shed. Stop. Okay, so here is the inside. If you guys can remember, it was just a regular shed. I mean, you've been watching the whole video. You obviously know what we did. We painted, we put these siding pieces on the ceiling. We painted the beams. And then all the furniture was the final touch that we needed. As you can see, the bed, we've got the nautical theme coming out, the one statement pillow, and the sailboat picture. As you guys know, I was gonna order another curtain. Turns out it's sold out. So we're just gonna know that there's only one curtain here until it will come back in stock. We've got the really long, tall nightstand, which I love. Click on the lights. Corn rug <laughs> under here. It actually smells like corn, which is kind of exciting. And this is so people can take off their shoes when they get in. And under it is this fluffy, plush carpet. Like honestly, so happy with how it turned out. Like just take a last and final look. Alright you guys, I'm so happy with how the shed transformation turned out. I hope people actually use it because it was a ton of work. I'm so happy with how it turned out. If you guys want to see me transform more like non-conventional items, make sure to let me know what I should transform next. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!